we got a lot to talk about. Today is patch day, April 6, 2023. And these are all the important things you need to know. Without a lengthy video, first I'm going to talk about things that both servers got. In your rune section, a new rune alchemy tab. You can craft new runes. Rune succession is you can put old runes that you've leveled up and get them applied to new runes. For example, for North America, a six star rune. If you take a purple plus 15 rune into this six star rune, when you click on succeed rune, it'll change that six star rune to a plus 12. Those rolls suck though. I highly recommend you do this this way if you have plus 15 purple runes. A plus 12, a six star legendary rune. It costs 8,750 sky stones, but putting a plus 15 five star purple rune into a six star legendary rune, it only costs you 2,686 sky stones. Putting a five star plus 15 legendary rune into a new six star legendary rune will only cost you 12 sky stones. So please make sure do not disassemble your old runes. Plus, it'll make it plus 13 instead of 12. EU Asia, you now have Battlefield. However, we both have seasons now. Just doing Battlefield doesn't matter what rank. Every season, you're at least getting 30,000 Sky Stones. Just a little extra rewards. Juno is now in EU Asia Global Servers, but she did get a nerf. The damage on her first skill has been lowered, and now her max HP takes into effect. Also, her passive is only 33% rate to get that increase in mana. So this is a nerf, but will this make Juno still viable and is she worth the summons? EU Asia has a Juno banner. She's still going to be good in my opinion, but I would wait to summon on the banner at least until the end of the banner. Let the North America servers figure out if Juno is still good or not. Don't rush into Juno yet. Save your summons till the end of the banner. Each server got a new collection challenge, which is a limited challenge. North America, we have this legendary scroll. And EU Asia, you can get Water Lich, who is a staple in the Forgotten Earth Shrine dungeon. Literally the best monster for that dungeon. Water Lich is also good in a couple different places, especially TOA Hard 200, which you'll see that video in the next couple days. Finally, something I've been asking for forever, just a button where you can change your element at this screen. This is huge. Again, both servers, even if you lose on a repeat battle, it will restart for you automatically. It will only end if you lose three repeat battles consecutively. There is now an auto mine feature, which is a highly debated topic right now. There are a lot of panties in a bunch. I'm not going to talk about my opinions on it right now. A lot of free to play are upset. I'm not. Even pay to win is upset. If you're level 50 plus, you have a auto cap of 200. If you buy the summoner's pass, you can get a thousand. A thousand attempts at auto mining. Once you hit the cap, you cannot manually mine anymore. Sky stones have been added to the support feature. A restoration stone has been added to the arena challenge shop. All servers NA, EU, Asia have the new Lucky Bingo event, which is kind of silly because EU, Asia servers have refining stones in theirs, and all we get is rune enhancement stones, which to me is very silly. North American servers get the shaft all the time. Giggity. All servers have the login as one event as well, and I'm so glad they changed it to an in-game event instead of the outdoor browser type of event. The browser events are just so annoying and frustrating. Keep all your events in game, please. But to maximize the rewards, you log in five days and you get rewards on your PC and then you can log in five days and get them on your phone. There is a new guard journal event. This is a one time thing, no time limit. Now I'll break it down server specifically. North America servers. Cantana is here. If you've done all your prerequisites, you will have a new quest guard commander's call. This will take you through a series of quests that you want to do. Make sure to do this early so you can do the new repeat requests. You have a new field boss Tyra in the new continent. You get to float on mushrooms and stuff. The summoners did get new skills. However, what we thought was probably replacing the skill, you can actually change the skill to whatever which one you prefer. 
I actually really enjoy this because you can then make summoners a little more unique. Now we just need different abilities in each of these three skills so we can really modify our summoners and make them unique. I already talked about these skills in a different video. Like I showcased before, North America, we have six star runes now. And we have two new runes of Destroy and Shield. North America has Hard Mode Path of Adventures. Level 1 Hard is going to be okay for most. Level 2 Hard is going to be a power cap issue for some. I'm on slightly hard and I can beat level 2. So if you can manual this for a little bit, it's not a bad idea at the beginning. Because these 6 star pieces of gear will help you increase your power level. Taking a 6 star rune and plus 12ing it is only going to cost you 8,000 sky stones. And as you see, a plus 12 6 star rune is better than a plus 15 5 star rune. So even if you can farm level 1 Path of Adventure hard mode, definitely do that to get the purple 6 star gear. The new Temple of Darkness is only hard mode. I'll do a video about this later. Special Expedition has a hard mode now. The same goes for a new dungeon you have to progress through the main story. Same boss, different element. It's only been changed to 7 weekly entries, which is awesome. I have no clue why my says 17. And then you have a new monster story, Chiwu. This is someone who is actually really good, especially for the new dungeon. We also have a quick battle now, which is nice. You have to be over 40% of the power level or something like that. A change in Galagos Ruins. You can now choose the buffs and debuffs that you get from Magic Order. The harder things you do, the more resources you win. In Twisted Marsh, you can get 6 star runes now. You can also get 6 star runes from the shop. Bombs if dispelled now actually do a little bit of damage. Unless you have a skill that removes bombs specifically. EU Asia servers. You have all that to look forward to. However, specifically for you guys, we have Boiling Waterfall Naraka now. You also have Hero Area now, which resets weekly. The only things you need to know, each summoner has quests you can do for gold and all these rewards, which have Sky Stones included now. There's bosses to farm. And if you kill Baphomet 25 times in each region, you'll get a Devil Mon. Again, you now have Battlefield. You have the Dark Heart Magician monster story now, which her and Light Heart Magician together just is crazy in PvE. You now have these new refined stones, which you do want to save up for. And that's really all the patch notes you really need to know. Hit that ding ding bell. Peace!